This is the plaintiff, Stephen Solomon. He says he and the defendant have been friends since seventh grade. They dated for about 10 years, and he opened a family cellular plan for them and her two kids. The defendant paid him monthly for the charges, then abruptly suddenly stopped, leaving him to be responsible for paying the whole bill. Now the defendant's ignoring him. She refuses to return the devices or pay the bills, and he's here seeking the return of $844.66, the amount he's owed. This is the defendant, Colleen Rica. She says she paid the defendant religiously for the phones until her phones were being shut off for non-payment. She doesn't know what he was doing with the money she gave him, but she does know he wasn't paying the phone bill. She got tired of this arrangement. He refused to accept the phones from her or take her and her kids off his account, so she stopped paying. End of story. She's accused of not paying to yakety yak. All parties, please use your radium. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants go back to the seventh grade. They once dated, so plaintiff felt comfortable putting the defendant and her kid on his phone plan. But the defendant says she was always paying him, but he was the one who stiffed the phone company and the phones were shut off. It's the case of the man with a plan. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Stephen Solomon? Yes. You are suing Colleen Ricca? your former girlfriend for $844.66. You say she owes you on phone bills and refuses to pay, correct? Correct. What's going on? Um, Colleen and I have known each other since junior high school. And um, in our 30s, we reconnected and wound up dating for about eight years. Um, I started a phone plan through T-Mobile, which we were had two lines we were paying half each on. After we moved in together, uh, we started a phone plan for her and her two boys. Um, we entered into a two-year contract for Verizon, uh, which she was staying with paying the bills with me, even though we had broken up after that phone bill. We have okay. 30 years of history, so okay. I kept her on the phone plan to help her out. And um, ten, about nine months into the contract, um, I would meet her once a month to get her portion of the bills. and. She had told me through text that uh, she couldn't afford the phones no more to kind of cut her off, was her exact words. And when did she say that? That was on uh, September uh, 2017. Okay. Um, I explained to her that we were only nine months into the two-year contract. And, and was I, a two-year contract was, a second contract? Yes, it was. Because you folks had a one-year contract before with, that? Uh, no, we had a two-year contract with T-Mobile. Before that. But before so that. Years and years of, of contracts. Be, You've continued to engage continued. in even though you weren't dating anymore. Yeah, we, like I said, we were what friends. What could go wrong? <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like I said, we had a lot of history, so... Um, yeah, now look at you. Okay. Yeah, so she said she couldn't afford them, and she, she offered to return the phones to me, and I told her that that wouldn't be any good, um, because How I was... How much was she paying a month, more or less, for these um, The phones, it was my phone bills for the phone devices... How much was she paying a month? Three quarters of the bill. How much was she paying a month? How much are you paying a month? 180. 180 for three phones? Mm-hmm, and okay. I was paying the other, like, 60. The phone bill ranged from, like, 230 to 245 depending on if Okay, so she decided that she couldn't afford it anymore, she you couldn't told afford it her. Anymore. I told her that um, I couldn't break the contract because I'm responsible because we owed monies on the phones itself that we were paying off with each monthly installment. And um, she said to give her a few days uh, to figure it out. I told her she could try to sell the phones to try to recoup the money, but I was responsible for those, those monies due. And I said, how can I contact you? She told me I can contact her at a place of business, being we weren't going to have phone numbers anymore where I can call her. Um, I called two times. Uh, the first time, she said she Wait, wait. So in that discussion, was that discussion all by text? No, this was, on, this was uh, in person. Okay, were, you said she texted me. That I thought you said that she texted me. That was probably because I would text her each month to collect the Wait, phone bill first money. First, hear my question. Mm -hmm. I thought you said she texted me she could no longer um, afford the phone. Correct. Do you have that in text for me to see? Um, it has to be subpoenaed through Verizon. I tried to get it. It's on my phone that was Let smashed. Let me see your phone. It's oh. smashed. Um, I contacted Verizon. They said if they got a court order, they can subpoena the info. Yeah, either that or you message. could log into your account and maybe get it. I tried. I looked on the cloud. Okay. I did the research. I was... Did you text them and tell them you couldn't afford the phone? No, I did not. Yeah. See how it becomes important? Because according to you, mm -hmm. why did you say we're done? Because every month the phone bill got, the phone got turned off th uh, about three quarters uh, through the month. 
I'd pay the phone bill around the third or the fifth of the month, and once a month the phone got shut off. Because I would text he didn't him, pay I his would, part of the phone bill. I, yes, I would and text fact, him. In fact, he would get your money in the mm -hmm. beginning of the month, according to you, and she right. has the bank records to show me the withdrawals every fifth of the month. And then she would meet with you, give you the money, but your bill wasn't getting paid, and your, your phones all got disconnected how many times? Every month. No, it was about three times. I had uh, three... It's more than three times. I've looked through the bills. It's yeah, more than three times. The reconnection fees. Want... No, 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 no. Let's see. Let's see. Four, five. I can see five times. You brought me this, okay? Now, so I had to inhale it and through osmosis figure <laughs> out your facts of your case. All right, so at least five times that I'm able to see the thing got this. I mean, that's not part of the deal between you're, you guys. You're, Constantly having phones disconnected. And for how long would they get disconnected? Usually a day or two. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yeah, but you know, I mean, that's important when, you, when you're paying $180, which is a lot. You want to be able to communicate with your and kids. I have three your kids. kids. At the time, they were 15, 13, and 11. Yeah, seriously got to keep tabs on them. <laughs> you're painting a picture where she wants out because she can't afford it. And she's saying, Judge, that's not why I want it out. I want it out because he breached the contract. Right. She didn't tell you that it was never consistent that she gave me the money prior to the due date, I was always late on the bills. If you look, I have a $5 late fee. Okay, give me now all of your bank records showing when you would withdraw the money. And do you f have any text records of when you were meeting him to give him the money? No, I do not because they're on the old phones which I wiped clean. How often when I was do my litigants switch phones? Yeah. Seriously, because I have all my texts for many, many years and every litigant tells me when I want evidence, well, not every litigant. Well, because I was giving the Ooh. phones back. <laughs> So I had to wipe them clean. Well, let's talk about that. What ended up happening with those three phones? I have them right here, Your Honor. Your Honor, I also... Just a minute, sir. Okay. I mean, your bank records show a withdrawal on the fourth or fifth of every month. It's not for the amount of the, of the phone bill, so it doesn't really tell me. What mm -hmm. would tell me would be the text where you guys were meeting. And well, neither we one of you have that? No. Okay. Let's talk about when the phones got disconnected. Tell me how that went down. Um... As I said, that I received the text that she said. To, and that when she, did you receive the text? You don't know. Uh, I received it, I do know, approximately September 5th. All right, and then what do you do with, based on the text? So I arranged to meet her, and I met her at a job, and it was right after she got off work. She came out with the three phones. I was planning on picking up the phones at that time because she said, why don't you return them? So I thought that I could return them. When I met her, I called Verizon, and I found out that you can't return them if it was after 30 days. So now I was stuck with those phones. I said, Kyle, I said, what are we going to do with these phones? I said, why don't you try to sell them to try? She said, OK. She was going to try to sell the phones to try to recoup some of the money. I was good like that. I never wanted it to come down to this. I just wanted to recoup some of the stuff. We, was, we remained civil. So what are you and your sons doing for phones now? We got phones on another plan. Somebody else's plan? Yes. Who, who did you get this time? My current boyfriend. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so after that encounter, after work, what is it you do with the phone company? So what happened was after that, I said, you know, keep the phones. I said, how can I get in contact with you? She goes, give me a few days to figure out how I can get you the money. I said, no problem. I said, how do I call you? She goes, call me at work. I tried a couple of times. She, the first time, she says, I'm busy right now. Call me over the weekend at work. Then I called two or three more times. She just didn't take the calls. I then proceeded in October 27th. I sent her a certified letter, which you have so a copy So you hadn't of. done anything with the phone company by October 27th? Yes, I did. I canceled the That's lines. That's my question. Yeah, October when 10th. When did you cancel October the 10th, phones? 2017. October uh, 10th. 10th. Yes. You canceled her phone and the two sons? Yes. The phone service? The, yes, the, the lines. I okay. kept my When line. you canceled that... That should appear in the October or November bill, correct? It does. Correct. And what did they charge you? Uh, they charged me the buyout prices for the devices, what was left as far as the value of the phones, which on the two lines was, I think, $413. All right. There was how much time left? A year and a half on the contract? Yeah, 13 months. Um, when was I'm the sorry, last time that the months. phone had been canceled for non payment? It should have been August. I believe it was August because I had a problem. That's why I left in September. No, but Being when, October. as of when did you, did you, oh, as of September you stopped using the phones? Yes. You're saying? All right. Yes. All right. So in, um, on October 10th, you canceled the phones. That's correct, Your Honor. 
And that's the 413. Let's see what else you're suing for. 192 for three lines. What's that? That was the last, that was September, September to, October, September's bill that I had to pay until. September, October's yes, bill. Yes, and then I, had, I wasn't able to cancel until October 10th when she finally wasn't uh, going to do it anymore. Let me see your contract uh, for new phones. When does it begin? I don't have it. When does it begin? October. All right, so you use these phones in September. So why is it you didn't pay September? Because she had the new phones. Because she had a new shiny new exactly. boyfriend. Exactly. OK. OK, so they charge you the 413 yeah. for the rest of the three phones yeah. that hadn't been paid. And they charge you the 150 early termination. termination. Yeah, and then my court cost is the And then the thing. court cost will be separate. And then $192 was is the September, September bill. Correct. So the real question is, is this financial debacle we call your lives both your fault uh, this phone bill situation, or just one of your fault, or more his fault than your fault, but both your faults. And that's kind of going to determine who's going to eat all this. Um, do you have any proof of when you actually give him the money? Uh, uh, my phone. Why would your phone tell you? Because I do money transfers. So if you have, would you have a statement there, of, uh, or would you have to my click bank into statement, each I have to go into my bank statement, yeah. So what is, what is your plan here? You're going to pull up your bank statement. Will that have every month? And you'll be able to show me each month how you transferred the money? Who would um, you transfer the money to? Him? Yes. His account? Yes. OK, I have your bank statements, but all I have are w what you highlighted were withdrawals from an ATM. Yes, those were for him. But I make money transfers to my current boyfriend. I don't, I don't care about your current boyfriend. He's not <laughs> suing you. What I w see, your withdrawals could be for that, or they could be for cocaine. I have no idea. Right. <laughs> so what I thought you were going to show me now was the money um, transfers to him each no. month. That's not what. Mm -mm. No one has texts that would give me an indication of when. Well, did you ever pay late too? Yes, I did. So if you date somebody and break up with them, would you ever put them on your phone plan or loan them money? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that ain't happening, man. No. <laughs> what do you say? No, friends and financials have to stay separate. Is it especially risky if it's somebody you dated because of feelings? I think that definitely makes it a lot worse than it could be. One would think, going inside the courtroom. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to pay the bill for the phones that were still in use in September. There's no reason for you not to pay that one. That's 192 And as for the 413 plus the 150 which are the actual cost to shut down things, I'm going to have you guys split that. So we call a little rough justice, and I'm going to order you to pay $281.50 for a total judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $473.50. Okay? That's my verdict. Thank you. Good luck, folks. So the plaintiff gets about half of what he was seeking. Uh, Ms. Ricker? <laughs> You got, a, you got another phone, another boyfriend <laughs> paying for it. How do you do that? Luck, I guess. Luck. <laughs> do you feel bad about not doing right by him? Well, I don't feel he did right by me by getting the phone shut off every month. I paid him on time every month, and the phones were shut off every month. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. Okay, good luck. Hope you, Thank hope you. you don't get in the same problem with your current boyfriend. All righty? <laughs> all right. Mr. Solomon, good for you. You can congratulations. You all right? You. You're not getting right. everything, but it's over. I'm glad. I that mean, you know, you were friends. I really should have asked her about this years. friendship for a long time years. that goes back to junior high school. Mm -hmm. It's is that now kaput? I guess Pretty it is. Pretty much. Huh? She has a new boyfriend anyway, and I have a new girlfriend. I moved on. Okay. I'm happy about that you too. You are. Well, I'm glad it's behind us, and there's no hard feelings at all. Well, you're a decent guy. All Thanks. Right. I appreciate that. Thank you very that. much. Nice okay. To meet you. Good enough. Harvey. Okay, I mean, look, Doug, uh, you know, if somebody wants on your phone plan, it usually means they have bad credit. And that usually, almost always means it ain't going to work out. So unless you want to eat the money, and it could be a lot, don't do it. And that'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.